Hey everyone, it's me. So it is July 17th, 2019, and I'm currently on my way to an audition. And I just wanted to talk quickly, I think, um, about what it's like being um, an actor who plays both male and female roles. Um, I exclusive <laughs> I exclusively go by he, him pronouns, and I identify as a transgender. Um, transmasculine gender fluid human being but I go out for um, male and female roles and I have played both non-binary cisgender male roles and I actually haven't had a chance professionally in my career to play a cisgender female yet which is interesting um, especially given the way that I look um, but it's interesting going on auditions. I do have professional management, but it's interesting because sometimes I'll just like be told by my management like, okay, you have an audition at like 2.30 for whatever. And, you know, obviously they'll like send my picture um, to whatever company it is and they'll want me to come in. But it's usually up to me to decide how I want to present my gender, whether I want to present androgynous or if I want to present in a female fashion or if I want to present in a male fashion. Whereas today, I had the choice. Well, I didn't really have a choice. They were specifically looking for people with colorful hair. And some of my headshots, I have male, female, and androgynous headshots. I have three different types of headshots. This specific audition is looking for people with colorful hair. And in my headshots, I have this purple wig. So I had to dress in a female fashion. But it's really interesting going on auditions and having three different options. It's raining, BT Dubs. Um, it's really interesting having three different options on what I'm going to wear, of having to go through my closet. Maybe some people have a go-to audition outfit that they just wear to everything, or maybe they have a couple outfits. I don't have that privilege. I, I constantly am going through my wardrobe having to try and figure out okay, um, is this an androgynous character that I feel would fit this role? Should I be femme for this character? And it's really interesting. It's really, it can be really confusing at times and frustrating because I don't always know how I'm gonna feel when I wake up in the morning gender-wise. And like I said, it is very fluid. So, I mean, most of the time I don't really give a shit. But, um, as far as auditioning, hang on. Um, as far as auditioning, it is, it can pose some confusion on how to present myself because it usually is up to me unless it is very clear that this is like a male part. But if it's like a trans character, and it just says trans, because uh, it's usually lumped in trans, non-binary, gender fluid. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, I'm gonna, my card. Um, it's usually then up to me how I want to present. That's where the decision comes in, male, female, or androgynous. So. I just wanted to share something that is personal to me as a human that experiences gender differently than, you know, 99% of actors in the world. So yeah, all right, well, I'm going to continue on with my day and go to my audition and then just go home and eat pizza.